Clock in, clock in. Black got it just walked in. Team like gotta stand up, man. Yeah. Right now we about to hop right into this video with Joyner Lucas. I'm pretty sure everybody aware when Joyner Lucas make a song, he likes to have deep meanings behind his music. Like, I would say this man like to make woke music. You feel me? He try to wake people up and he try to speak on real deal situations. And he just literally turns a whole song into a short film. Or something like that, you feel me? But we about to hop right into another video with Jonah Lucas right now, and this is Devil's Work. You feel me? We're not finna waste no time. We're finna jump right into this video. Clock in, clock in. Hold up, before I just get started, hold up, bro. This nigga here. Does this man have a whole henny bottle? In the middle of church? Or is this church? It gotta be church. There's a bunch of chairs, a bunch of old paintings in the back with crosses on top of them. He definitely in church with a handy bottle. Boy, you're a little bit too hot out there, boy. You need to sit down, boy. You feel me? It ain't even been a whole 10 seconds in this video already. And this man has a Bible in the left and a handy bottle in the right. I don't think he bought that in church. You feel me? Boy, you're a little bit too hot out there. Okay, so he about to go deep with this one, you feel me? I can already see in the direction he's aiming with this one. Now, he's coming in the church, drunk as hell, coughing, and he's speaking to God by himself. And there's a lot of people who has a lot to say about how people come to God and how people speak to God. And can we really say he wrong for walking in the church with a bottle, being himself, doing something that God already knows you're doing? You feel me? And yeah, it's probably wrong to walk off in the church with it, but at the same time, I can see him already giving out a message. He's being himself, he's gonna come to God as he is. And it's nothing new to God. God don't just see you when you in church. Man, see you everywhere. You feel me? Living on the edge, so we keep scrambling. Trying to talk to these strippers, but they keep dancing. We just want me number one, like Steve Francis. Bow our head, saying prayer, not a seed planted. Everywhere I turn, I'm seeing MCs vanish. A lot of good niggas gone, I don't understand it. A lot of families lost, and they seem stranded. I ain't trying to disrespect you, I just need answers. I know you watching us from heaven, thinking who to say. Jimmy picking who should go next and who should stay. I'd be on my way to heaven if I knew the way. And bring back every good nigga you choose to take. They say you never wrong, but you done made a few mistakes. Cause you taking the wrong niggas, maybe you should trade. Trade us back on the real ones, remove the face. I think you should trade. Give us two pop back and say that. Okay, it seems like this man is questioning God. And when I say God, I actually mean the most high. I'm not trying to say believe in what I want you to believe in. I'm not trying to say, oh, what you believe in is wrong or what he believes in is right. Who knows? We don't. I know that part, but I do know there is someone who created us. There is a most high. There's somebody watching over us. And that's just how I feel. You feel me? And... Some people feel differently, but at the same time, there still is a lot of people who believe everything happens for a reason. Even though it's somebody that we feel like was a great person, there could be a reason behind it. Now, I just feel like you questioning is not always right. Sometimes there are no answers. There's certain things we would never have the answer to. We don't know. We won't know. It's just that simple. You feel me? And you question it. But you're a little bit too hot out there, boy. I 
Okay, now he's saying a lot of good people we lost. Let's get them back and let's take away the evil people. You feel me? And as much as I do feel what he's saying to a certain extent, I do understand what he's saying. I do understand where he's going with this. At the same time, the world wouldn't be balanced out if there wasn't no evil involved. There has to be negative and positive. You feel me? There can't just be one. That's the only way everything's going to balance out. You need both. So, I understand what he's saying, take all the evil with you, but would too much good be good for us? Damn, that's a strong head question, boy. I might need some milk after that one, but hold on. Give us back Martin Luther, take Martin Shkreli. Give us back Malcolm, take R. Kelly, R.I.P. Lil Snoop, get out. That nigga say, take R. Kelly, boy, you don't need to hold that shit, boy. Why you do that man Kelly like that, boy? I need you to give us back Martin Luther, take Martin Shkreli. Give us back Malcolm, take R. Kelly, R.I.P. Lil Snoop, get that boy's life back. Take Eric Holder, give us Eric right back. I'm sending you But he has a lot of questions that why a lot of people really do want the answer to my guy you feel me but like i said before there's a lot of stuff we will not get the answer to you know what i'm talking about we just can't and boy he took his time making this song cut he going real deep with this one he all in the church spitting on the camera and his feelings boy i fear that it's not fair to tell the truth i've been in my feelings too but if you talk at tell, at least take down the roof at least take james holmes i ain't even mad at that just bring back whitney and give us michael jackson back fans want me and then slam it down ain't no justice for sandra bland we up like the sailor fan lord if you listen i'm just looking for a hand in hand take out the fuck niggas and give us back our fam again drowning in my tears trying to pray for some wonder why you give us life for you to take it from us wonder why you give us family and erase it from us maybe hopefully you can have a Damn, that boy was going deep with this one, boy. Who your ghostwriter is, boy, because he lit, you feel me? Now, certain things he said is exactly how a lot of people feel. Everybody want to be a thug. You know why? Because nowadays a lot of thugs get accepted from their community just because that's what the community wants you to be. Especially when you're in a community that involves a lot of violence and stuff like that. Like, they going to accept you that way because that's what everybody grew up off of. And a lot of people don't go to church because they don't want to be judged. They don't want to be called that lame dude that goes to church, stuff like that. You feel People actually do that. Yeah. You feel me? And people actually care what the next person thinks about what they got going on. You feel me? Y'all boy need to stop that. But y'all a little bit too hot out you. And this video finna be longer than a mug. At the ceiling is a long bet. Watching niggas follow trends like Simon says. Yeah. I pray you give us back the real ones and try again. Or maybe take them niggas that deserve to die instead. Tommy Lauren run a mouth and then she get defensive. Lori Ingram laughing at death and disrespecting. I really feel like you should teach them stupid hoes a lesson. Either that or give us back somebody who deserve the blessings. I left out a bunch of names and I forgot to mention. Cost too much to pay attention and it got expensive. Father, forgive me for I know not what I do. And now I'm reaching out to you, hoping you hear me and return the message. I know that you got our back and that you're not against us. Or maybe you just love us so you're doing shit to test us. I just kind of thought that you would do more to protect us. They say the good die young and I ain't on the guest list. I've been drinking, Lord, forgive me as my blood racing. I don't know what I'm thinking, I'm just frustrated. Man, this man, this man talented as hell. You feel me? And this ADHD shirt he got song, I remember just seeing it on his Instagram. He said he used to have ADHD and he's doing that for everybody else who was gave this little symptom they call ADHD. And people said that he wouldn't amount to nothing just because he had it. And look at the nigga now. The nigga's a poet. He ain't even know it. You feel me? I don't mean to question you, I'm just confused. I don't know what else to do. I've been patient and it's us waiting. Took my man's from me, that forever hurts. But putting the blame on you, that'll never work. I know this ain't your fault, it's the devil's work. Devil's work. Devil's work. Devil's work. 
Nigga, take your damn handy bottle out of the church. You forgot your damn handy bottle, nigga. Trip. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you got the same thing that I got out of that and not only did I think this man was questioning God the most high and I thought he was gonna end up saying the most high is wrong for what he's doing like try to put the blame but at the end he said he's not trying to put the blame he just had questions that he couldn't get answers for and all he know why everything ended up being the way it was it wasn't the most high he feels like it was the devil's work you feel me he did that but enough about how I think about this. And let me know what you feel about this. I'm not done with that. Clock out, clock out. Black got it. Just walked out. Okay. I'm out here trying to get paid, but dog, I ain't got no keys. Ain't trying to be able to say your dog. I know that you did.